Film format refers to the way film is packaged for the camera. This is roll film. The film is put onto spools. These are also canisters and although they're both 35, they fit into different cameras. And we have cassettes here with different size films. Uh, film can also come in sheet form. If you're interested in film photography, um, at some stage, if you don't already have one, you might like to get your hands on a film camera. Now they're not difficult to find. Uh, when digital took over, people didn't just dump their film cameras. They put them in a box or a drawer somewhere and they just forgot about them. So ask around, you never know, you might be lucky. But failing that, there's always online, the likes of eBay. There's a very strong market in uh, secondhand film cameras out there. Now it will be a secondhand camera, so you do need to exercise a certain amount of caution. But there is one thing that you need to be aware of with film cameras, and that's the, the camera format. What I have here are 15 cameras. Now these are typical of what you would see on eBay. All these cameras are different, but in one way they're the same. They all use the same film. So they're all the same format. And they all use 35 millimeter film. So that seems straightforward enough. One format, 35 millimeter, and a range of cameras to choose from. But here's another 15 cameras. And again, these are typical of what you'll find on eBay. These cameras are all different, but each one has its own format and you can't mix and match them. Most of these formats are no longer available. Of these 15 formats, two of them have no practical value. APS and DISC. Uh, two formats, they're the newest format. This came out in the mid 90s and the early 80s. But nobody's making this film anymore. And it looks like nobody will. So it's gone and it's gone for good. You can still buy these online, um, but no film, they're worthless. So that's APS and disc, gone. Of the 13 formats left, eight of them are out of production. In no particular order, these films disappeared. 126, Minox, Minolta 16, 127, 620, 616, Rapid and 828. So you might think that all of their cameras should also go by the wayside. Despite the absence of film for these cameras, they do have a certain value. Available film can be modified to fit them. Now how this is done is a subject for a different tutorial. So if you're not prepared to cut film, re-spool it, uh, it's probably best that you avoid these cameras altogether. So five formats left, and all of these are currently being produced. Two of them disappeared for a short while, but came back. Polaroid and 110. This is Polaroid, the SX70, and this is 110 film. Now both of these were discontinued by the main manufacturers at one stage, but they were brought back. Impossible Project brought back the SX70, and they currently sell it and Lomography brought back the 110 film and they currently sell this. Um, this is instant film, so there's no processing of the film afterwards. But there is processing of this film and it produces small negatives, so it does put a limit to the size of your print. These are the top three formats. 120, 4x5 and 35mm. There's plenty of film available and it's easy to process the film at home. This is a large format camera. It takes film four inches by five inches. So it produces really big negatives, but that means it can produce massive prints. And that's the advantage of this camera. But it's a rather specialized camera, which means that it probably won't be your choice for a first film camera. So we're down to the last two. Medium format, 120, and 35 millimeter standard format. Now it's hard to pick one over the other. They both have their good points. If you're looking for uh, wall size prints, maybe the larger negative would be better. 
but if you want to carry a camera around with you all day and um, then a smaller 35 millimeter might be better so if you're in doubt just get the two of them so that was an introduction to film formats now if you found it useful you might hit the like and subscribe button below and if you want you can leave a comment